Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at Armadillo Mini Tank and uh, Bazooka 2, I guess. <laughs> um, this is uh, this is the Armadillo, and uh, it's a little guy, but it uh, packs a punch. Uh, we got some uh, four barrels here. Looks like some anti-aircraft guns, some pom-poms, and uh, some great, great detail work going on on it. And of course, we got some, you know, treads at the bottom here with the fake dumbbells, you know, and uh, handrails in the back, some foot pegs, throw a couple extra passengers on there. And... Uh, uh, this was designed to be a, you know, a high-speed, uh, highly maneuverable uh, mini tank to get in and get out and, you know, get the job done. And uh, I think it's kind of cool. Um, it's a little small, of course, um, uh, but not totally unrealistic. Um, uh, throughout the centuries, there's been, uh, you know... Um, there's been precedent for smaller tanks. Uh, World War One and Two, the Italians had itty bitty one and two man tanks. Um, the Germans had uh, tank motorcycles, and uh, you know, for different jobs, um, uh, whether they were, uh, you know, as good as the full size armored tanks, uh, probably not, but. Um, you know, uh, they, they filled a purpose, and I think this does too, um, you know, uh, back in the 80s, uh, you know, um, not every, not every kid, uh, you know, was able to get, uh, Mobats or Maulers, um, and if they did, maybe they only got one, you know, and, uh, so these were a nice little addition, uh, little budget vehicles. Um, they weren't expensive to to purchase. I believe they were uh, three or five dollars, you know, at the time, and uh, and they were portable. You know, you could to fit in a kid's hand, and uh, he could take it out in the yard and and go, uh, you know, head to head with the hiss tank, or uh, you know, or a uh, or a, a ATV. Or uh, anything like that, you know, and it's a pretty good matchup. Um, of course, you need a couple of these to uh, to match up to a hiss, probably. But you know, um, but uh, you know, kids are going to use their imagination. And again, a uh, little fast attack tank. It was kind of kind of cool, you know, to have as a kid. And uh, um, they were great for. Uh, aunts and uncles and you know grandparents to pick up uh pick them up for us when we were little because they were inexpensive and uh and you know they were they were plentiful at the time and so you know um almost every kid i know that had gi joes had at least one of these and uh they're just kind of cool little little mini tanks you know um course it's a uh it's a sad substitute for a uh for a mauler <laughs> or even a mobat but uh you know um you could you could have a small fleet of these uh for the price of you know one of the larger tanks and uh and again they just played real well as a kid you know um just a little one-man tank and uh you could pretend that it you know could drive real fast um i believe the blueprints had it going at uh i don't know 65 or 70 miles an hour or something like that which is pretty good a pretty good clip for something this small and uh yeah There's something a little light armored and of course we got fantastic detail work on it the designers uh they didn't skimp out even on the budget vehicles we got a little fueling uh fueling uh center here and uh tons of little greebles 
And we got some engine vents. And uh, some nice little uh, diamond cut plate down here where the, uh, where the foot pegs are. And uh, all in all, it's real nice. Got good rotation on this. And we got like 90 degrees there. And 90 degrees there. Got some good good detail in in the cockpit. Little radar devices and some gauges and stuff. And uh, we got some elevation. Probably like, uh, you know, I don't know, 70 degrees or so. Not too bad. And, uh, yeah, all in all, it's uh, a great little, great little something, you know. Um, I, uh, I had tons of fun with these as a kid. And uh, I still have tons of fun with them now. Um, you can actually sit him way down in there where he uh he's got some cover you know which is kind of rare for uh gi joe vehicles actually because usually they're always sticking way up like just waiting to get shot you know but um they actually made it deep enough to get them way down in there and uh some clearance for them you know and it looks real good in there i almost prefer them sitting up a little bit though so you can kind of see who's driving but um yeah uh that's the armadillo and uh great little vehicle something nice on a budget small enough to fit on a shelf it displays really well and uh i really dig it um we uh of course i display mine with zooks here <laughs> Because honestly, I don't know what else to do with them other than put them with Alpine. Um, this loud, uh, you know, football jersey is uh, is a little ridiculous. But um, he works great as a driver. And of course, is a, something like this is a anybody could drive kind of vehicle, you know. Just pop him in and, and he's good to go, you know. But uh, yeah. All in all, a uh, great vehicle, um, fun to play with. I would say uh, middle to top tier, you know. Um, it's simple. It's uh, It was cheap, um, which not cheap like flimsy because it's built really well and strong. Um, but just a great price point for, you know, anybody. And... Uh, so it was kind of a thing that, you know, any kid, kid could have, and most kids did. And uh, so I think that's really cool that, you know, Hasbro uh, took the effort to uh, make things at different price points. So, you know, uh, kids didn't get left out and, uh, and you know, be like, oh, I can't play G.I. Joe because I can't afford it, you know, or my parents can't afford it. Um that's something for everybody, you know, and uh, like I said, you know, uh, you get an aunt or an uncle picking one of these up for you for a birthday, you might get one for Christmas, and uh, before long, you might have a little fleet of these, even if you're, you know, your parents couldn't afford to get you a, a Night Raven or a, uh, you know, something crazy big, um, uh, any kid could have, you know, one or a dozen of these, and it would be just as cool, you know. But, uh, yeah, um, I say mid tier to top tier, um, just for playability and, uh, you know, and fun factor. Um, yeah, uh, let me know what you think. Did you have an armadillo as a kid? Did you put bazooka in it? <laughs> um, yeah, what do you think? Uh, let me know below and, uh, yeah that's my review of the armadillo mini tank i hope you enjoyed it and uh we'll see you again next time all right